Iran's crackdown on nationwide protests have reportedly reached a new low. According to a Guardian exclusive report, Iranian forces are shooting at the faces and genitals of the women protesters. The report is based on accounts of several doctors who say both men and women are coming in with shotgun wounds at different parts of their bodies. On the basis of the medics' accounts from across Iran, the Guardian report reveals a disturbing trend. Doctors and nurses say that the pattern came to fore when they began noticing that women often arrived with wounds different to men. Photos published by the Guardian show wounds all over the patient's bodies from so-called birdshot pellets as security forces fired on people from a close range. The report also reveals that shots to the eye of women, men and even children were particularly common. The wounds to genitals of women are particularly disturbing, even for the doctors, they say, as they fear this could lead to permanent damage. One of the doctors told the Guardian that the security forces shoot at the faces and private body parts of women because they have an inferiority complex, adding that they want to get rid of their sexual complexes by hurting these young people. Another doctor has said that women are so ashamed to go to the hospital that many are being treated at home, which can be very dangerous. Such horrific gender-based violence is alarming, even by Iranian standards. The West Asian nation has seen strict curbs on women since the 1979 revolution. But it was the death of Masa Amini in September that triggered Iranians to say that they have had enough of the hardline rule. 22-year-old Masa Amini was arrested by Iran's morality police for wearing her headscarf improperly. Her death in custody ignited a wave of anti-Hijraf protests throughout the country, plunging Iran into months-long unrest whose end is still far from sight. Iranian regime came down heavily on the protesters, apart from executing one protester and sending five others on the death row. Independent rights groups say that Iran's security forces have killed over 450 people and detained over 18,000 others. The UN, on its part, has adopted a resolution in its Human Rights Council to create a fact-finding mission to investigate alleged rights violations. Investigators, however, are unlikely to be admitted to the country.